April 4th, 2019. It's a beautiful day, and I've just purchased my last fishing license for the state of Connecticut. Next year they're free when you turn 65. Oh yeah, 65 is the new 62. This is the, what they call the ovation pool, and I believe Claude is down here. The ovation pool. This is like the best time of the year. You got the whole season before you. You don't know what it's going to bring. Hopefully all good stuff. I see Claude up ahead. This is going to be a, another tying video. And when we catch up to him, Jeffrey will be uh, explaining what pattern he's gonna show you. Why would you use a stillborn instead of a instead of a uh, regular dun? Because the fish will key in on them. This, this is what I'm trying to say. In other words, uh, they'll be selective toward a stillborn now and then. And, and we so, don't and we don't know why. Well, they're they're certainly easier to. They're not fluttering their wings and trying to get off the surface of the water. Um, they're an easier meal. Yeah, they're an easier meal. Yep. So, and the pattern I'm going to tie is really uh, more like a spent wing, and uh, then it'll have a little little bit of difference, a couple of different colors of dubbing and, and uh, uh, darker wings than normal. Sounds great to me. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Hendrickson's. They're right around the corner here in the northeast. And we've got a pattern for you here, it's a Hendrickson Cripple. It's tied with a shuck. It's tied with uh, two body styles. One in the back, which represents the nymph, and the other that represents the dun. And a spent wing. So we'll start by getting our thread on the hook. We'll start at about the halfway point and work back toward the bend, cutting the tag end off of course. And we'll put a thread base down there in preparation for the next material which is going to be our shuck. We've got this uh, shuck yarn from a place out in Montana called Fly Tires Dungeon and he's got great materials at great prices. I urge you to, uh, to check him out. We're going to tie the shuck in from the midpoint back wrapping the thread and then at the end of that we're going to tie we're going to I mean cut the uh, cut the shark to about a body length we'll bring the thread back to the halfway point again in preparation for our next step after we've cut the shark thread we're going to take our next material which is gold wire it's a fine gold wire and we're going to tie it in. We're going to try and tie it in so that it's on the far side of the hook for easier wrapping. You could use, if you wanted to, you could probably use uh, some yellow monocord, anything like that, that would, uh, that would work for ribbing, but we like the gold wire, like the way it shows up. After that's tied in, we're going to take some dark brown super fine dubbing and once again, there's nothing etched in stone that says you have to use Superfine. There's lots of dubbings out there that you can use. Uh, if you want it to be more uh, buggy looking with, uh, with more fibers sticking out, you could use other materials. 
Uh, you could use an Antron type dubbing for a sparkle if you wanted. Uh, we don't feel that's necessary because the the uh, gold wire will give it some that, some of the sparkle. And we'll wrap the dubbing up to the halfway point again. Make sure that's secure. And then we'll take the gold wire and make about oh between five and six turns or between you know four and six turns whatever works for you uh, to make a nice segmented appearance and when we're done with that we'll helicopter the wire off and make sure that that's clear We'll be in preparation for the next material, which is going to be our wing. We're going to work the thread back to the, or toward the eye of the hook, about halfway between where we've tied off the wire and the eye. And we'll get ready for our material for the wing. Now I'm using dark poly yarn here, rather than a light color that you'd see in a, a regular spinner. Um, you could use anything you want. You could use Zelon, Antron, any of those things. We'll secure that with a couple of uh, turns and some figure eight wraps and get ready for our our other dubbing which is a, a light tan once again a super fine we're going to tie this kind of thick so it makes a thick thorax we'll uh, what I like to do is I'm I wind the uh, I wind the dubbing behind the wing and then in front of the wing before I start taking the figure eight wraps over it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. I mean we're tying this in like a spent wing and it uh, it mimics uh, a fly that's hatched or tried to hatch and all of a sudden it's given up the ghost and uh, it's uh, it's lying on the surface of the water with its with its wings uh, outstretched and uh, well dead. We'll finish the the uh, dubbing with uh, some figure eight wraps. And the next and the final thing to do is we'll uh, we'll trim the wings. We can. Uh, we can do this in a standard way that's uh, it's easier rather than try to struggle with worrying about whether everything's exact after we uh, after we whip finish we'll take the wings and in between our uh, thumb and index finger we'll stand them up and bring them back toward the bend of the hook and we'll use the bend as a guide so that you're just about even with the hook bend and trim them. And that's our version of the Hendrickson Cripple. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.